welcome back to Pleasant Valley Junction. Just getting ready to head over to the engine house to get some of the engine's rods oiled up. But before I do, I remembered on the last segment that I was telling you about in regards to my fellow travelers question, they were asking about steam locomotive wheel arrangements and the different types. Well, I promised that I would teach you that and therefore, let's head down to the engine house and we will take a look at the different wheel arrangements of steam locomotives. Now in this segment, we're going to be talking about the smaller engines. We're going to begin with those. We often call those industrial engines or switchers. Sometimes their nicknames were often called yard goats because they were often seen pushing and pulling cars throughout the yard. These didn't really go out on the main line very much like the bigger engines. So this one in particular, this wheel arrangement is called an 040. It's got four little wheels in the middle here, as you see, and there's no little wheels in the front or the back. But there are often different types of switch yard engines. Like this, for example. Now, when it came to wheel arrangements for these engines, they normally came in a standard three sizes. The 040, as mentioned earlier, the 060, like you see in this picture. Eventually, as they grew, they adopted the tenders. These are the cars normally seen behind the locomotive, carrying their fuel and water. Another wheel arrangement adopted by the railroads, mainly in the Norfolk and Western, is the 080. The biggest one ever made was an 0102, made for the Union Railroad. One still survives to this day. And that concludes our talk about wheel arrangements for industrial engines. So stay tuned as we go on into the mixed traffic engines.